Hi, this is Ashley Latter again. And today in today's episode, I'd like to talk about what's important, the skills and attitude that are important in a consultation with your patient. So imagine a patient's coming to see you. And let's imagine they're coming to see you about some sort of cosmetic treatment. And they're in, they're in the consultation. You're having a one-to-one with them. So what are some of the skills and some of the attitudes or attributes that are going to be essential for that consultation to be a success? Well, there's many. Let's talk about some of them. Well, first of all, you've got the skills. And the skills are going to be good things like good communication skills. You're going to have to have good listening skills, as we've talked about in previous episodes here. You're also going to be showing empathy with the patient and good at asking the right type of questions. Other things that are going to be really, really important, of course, is the ability to build really good rapport and to provide good solutions to the patient's wants and needs. Of course, you might get one or two objections from the patients. So overcoming objections are going to be really important to a successful consultation. Let's look at the other side. There's going to be things like attitude. Now, attitude obviously is going to be also important. Things like positive Enthusiasm are going to be important. And in future episodes, I'm going to talk about the importance of enthusiasm. It's better to be adaptability and to be flexible. The other area that obviously is going to be important, of course, is product knowledge. And that is the technical knowledge of actually doing the consultation, the actually doing the treatment. Now, a question I'd like to ask you is this. If you've heard me speak before all over the, all over the United Kingdom or Europe or America, or you've heard me being on one of my courses, then what percentage of your success in that consultation is going to be applicable to skills and attitude, and what percentage is down to product knowledge? What I find is this, that over 85 to 90% of your success in a consultation is going to be down to skills and attitude, and only 10 to 15% is down to product knowledge. Now, first of all, let's look at product knowledge. Point of knowledge is absolutely vital. Of course, you need to know the knowledge, you need to have the knowledge to be able to deliver the treatment. That's essential. But however, if you think about it, what can a patient see or judge in a consultation? Well, they can judge how good they were at listening to me. They're good, they can judge how good they were at asking the right type of questions. They can judge how good they were at building rapport. Were they positive, were they enthusiastic? And did they show belief that they could actually address my problems? And that's really what a patient can see in it. So what it boils down to is this, that 85 to 90% of your success in a consultation is going to be good down to how good your skills and attitude are. And only 10 to 15% of that success in the consultation is going to be down to your product knowledge. The problem or challenge I find in life is this, is that most dentists spend all their life, all their going training courses, all the, uh, all the hours of CPD that they do, they spend most of that time developing their product knowledge. Product knowledge is vital, but in a consultation, it only plays a very, very small part. So as you move forward, as you move forward in your career, think and start investing, going on courses, reading books, maybe go and get some CDs for your car, but learn the ability. This is where you should be spending some of your time and some of the investment of both your time and of course your money. If you invest some money and time in these areas here, you should see a significant improvement in your uptake of treatment. I hope you found that this last video has been really useful. What they've always told me is that one area that they've found the most challenging or challenging is the discussion of fees. And today I want to talk to you about this in more depth.